Good morning, everybody. My name is Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. It's actually not morning while well, it's 11:50 uh, at night, and uh, but I'm just getting ready for, to go to bed. And I thought I forgot to make a video, so I just thought I'd sit down and talk to you for a few minutes. We've had Bill's first day at home for a full day. He did pretty good today. He uh, participated in life more than he had in the past. Didn't sit there and just watch TV. He he talked with the work person who came to see about the home care and and he answered her questions and and this evening he helped me put a few things away and so I think that he is doing pretty good for today. We'll see how tomorrow goes. I think that it'll be a steady upward swing. We we've got his room set up so that there's room to go around it. We've got home care arranged to come in starting on Saturday. And uh so I think it's going to be good. So anyway, that's the update for there. Update for me is I'm just uh, plugged along here. I My arm is not hurting right now at the moment, but it was hurting desperately earlier, but it goes in cycles like that. It's not hurting right now. I'm going to take that as a good sign because I don't want to just deal with the pain. I, I like having a little bit of free time too, so that's good. And I also thought I would tell you a story. Um... I'm talking awful fast here. I don't know. I'm looking at the clock here. I'm only a minute and a 30 in and I've given you two updates and I'm about to do a story. I don't know. <laughs> you probably can't even tell what I'm saying because I'm talking too fast. Anyway. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So I'm going to tell a story about when I was a child and uh, we, I love to go swimming. I really love to go swimming. And so I had a friend named Patty Campbell and uh, I don't suppose she's watching, but anyway, if you're, if you're Patty, hi. <laughs> Anyway, um, so Patty Campbell and I decided to go to the swimming pool. We asked our parents, could we go? Yes, yes, we could go. But we had to be home in time for supper. Well, we got to having so much fun at the pool that there was no way we were going to be home for supper. So we decided that, well, if we're going to be late, we might as well be well late and just stay and have some fun. So we didn't leave the pool till like 7.30. And it was just getting dusk. And we were walking and we thought, well, it's a long way to walk from the pool home. So we decided to cut through the school schoolyard and climb the fence. We figured that would be cut, a shortcut. Well, the problem was I had pointy boots and Patty Campbell had square-toed boots and it was a chain link fence and her square-toed boots wouldn't go into the chain link. So we had the brilliant idea that I should wear one pointy toe and one square toe and so should she. We'd have one foot that would go in and one we'd have to sort of stand separately on. Well, anyway, and the top of this fence didn't have like a nice uh, curled down uh, chain link. It had po pokey things up there. Like it really wanted to stop you. Anyway, we climbed up and got to the top of this fence and tried to get over. Well, Patty couldn't get over. There was no way Patty could get over. She couldn't get her boot going in there. And I did get over. I got over the top of the fence, but then I was hanging on the fence. The fence, all those pokey things got caught in my coat. And I was hanging on the fence, and I knew that I would rip my coat if I slid off. My mom would be mad as hell if I ripped my coat. So I thought to myself, well, how am I going to do here? So Patty had to go walk all the way around the schoolyard and back around to come to where I was and get me down off the fence. We changed our boots back to we had our boots. Then we walked the rest of the way home. Well, as we were walking down the alleyway to our house, Patty was at one end and I was at the other, I said to her, Oh, no, there's people coming towards us in the alley. She goes, yeah, there are mothers. I said, yes, they are. And they were out walking to try and find us. And when we got, they got a hold of us, I tell you, Patty Campbell and I were grounded from each other for a week. We weren't allowed to be with each other for a week. It was terrible. Anyway, I never forgot hanging on that fence. And I never climbed another fence like that again. But I did climb um, a baseball you know, at the back of a baseball diamond, you know, they have the, the fence where the uh, catcher is and it, it kind of goes up and then it goes over. I think it's to stop stray balls from going around. But anyway, we climbed up, always climbed up the outside of it and went to that part that tipped over. And we lay there and watched the games. And uh, nobody ever said anything to us. We, we did it all the time. You know, I'm surprised that somebody didn't say something to us but I got into all kinds of shenanigans. I tell you. 
those are the days, you know, I, I think back on those days and I, I really realized I had, I had a really good life. I had a good, good fun time and I had lots of adventures and uh, I had good friends. I went to girl guide camp once. Uh, my mom was a leader. And uh, so we went to girl guide camp and mom didn't go as the leader. She stayed at home because she had other kids, but uh, I was allowed to go. And so I went and I was supposed to be the oldest one in the tent. There's younger people that I was supposed to look after and guide along, you know. And uh, so that was a poor move to put me to guide youngsters because I I have a bit of a, uh, I don't know what kind of streak, a funny streak where I, I like to get into trouble. I like to do things and I do sometimes get into trouble for it. So anyway... I decided I was going to teach them a new song. So at nighttime, we I taught them the song. Did they quietly sing it in the nighttime at the tent? No. They started singing it out loud in the daytime. And one of the leaders there said to her, where'd you learn that song? Oh, Darlene, she taught me that song. So I got in a lot of trouble. I'll tell you what the song was in a minute. But I got in a lot of trouble. And they phoned my mom and said, we're sending her home. Mom was so embarrassed that her daughter got sent home from Girl Guide Camp and she could not believe what I had done. And I, so I'll, I'll sing you the little song. I'm going to Girl Guide Camp, oh pity me. There's not a boy in the vicinity. And every night at nine they lock the doors. I don't know why the heck I ever came before. I'm going to pack my bags and head for town. I'm going to turn that city upside down. I'm going to smoke, drink, neck with all the boys to heck with girl guide camp. Yep, yep, that's that's how you get sent home. <laughs> Teach the young kids something like that. Anyway, I could go on and on about all the things I've done crazy, but I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to upload this and go to bed. So I hope you're all having a good day tomorrow. And I hope I have a good day tomorrow, and I'll talk to you tomorrow night. All right. Bye-bye.